Hello once again and welcome to Lightning TV. It's Halloween, so it seems fitting that tonight's visitors to the Thunderdome are the Peterborough Phantoms. Now is it going to be a gowl fest or will it be a horror story? Teams are on the ice warming up, let's go and check out the action. Grant, that was a, a bit of a touchy game, wasn't it? It was. I mean, um, we knew right from the start that they were going to come out hard. Um, they obviously beat us last week. They were on a bit of a run. Um, but we, us ourselves knew that we, we had to win tonight. Um, so, I mean, we, we got a good start, two goals, uh, two goals up, but then unfortunately penalties. Um, you know, I, I didn't think they were personally 10-minute penalties, but um, they happened, and Pete, to be fair, Pete really took their chance, got back into the game. Um, but from there on, you know, it was, it's always going to be tough against Peter, but a local derby. Um, but it's good to get the two points. So. Yeah, definitely. But they, like you say, they, they came out, they, they played a, a proper classic road game tonight, didn't they? Yeah, I mean, when you're on the road, you don't have to be pretty. You're, you've got no one to impress, really. Um, you've also, you just want to try and uh, slow the game down as much as possible. And uh, they did that for a little while. Um, but as I said, luckily we got two goals in, from, uh, in, in front. Um, but then again, we lost the two goal lead, but we, we went on from there and managed to get the two points. So. Excellent. Now, I just want to talk about um, one thing. Well, first of all, uh, scored again tonight. Yeah, yeah uh, it's, uh, the puck's fallen on my stick well, and I'm managing to put them into the net. So, as I said, uh, I've said all along, I don't score as many as I feel I should, um, but it's nice to put the puck in the net. And so far this season, it's been going my way. So. 
I'm going to go back a few weeks because you're obviously aware of uh, comments that were made about you by um, an estate agent who tries to be a commentator <laughs> called David Sims, yeah. uh, who apparently appears to know not a great deal about the English Premier League, but he yeah. does know an awful lot about Tony Hand and yeah. um, the fact that you've been rubbing Tony up, you know, maybe the wrong way in some of the games and getting under his skin, um, but then uh, apparently you've got no code. Um. Well, as I said, uh, I did an interview with Powerplay uh, last week, and he can say what he wants. It doesn't it doesn't bother me in the slightest. He's obviously got to sell some uh, some magazines, but um, you know he's he's very friendly with Tony, so he's obviously going to take Tony's side. Um, I mean, the only point I can put across is that it was Tony's choice to fight in both the fights last season and this season. Um, I mean, Tony's a tough guy himself; he can handle himself. There's no problem. And what, what he's going on about this code, I don't know. But you know, it's up to him what he says. So it's got. Well, what, what a lot of people don't understand is that you and Tony were, were together at uh, Edinburgh yeah, for a while, so you, you actually know each other really well. Very well, and. I, I, for age, from the ages of eight, you know, I went to these, all these hockey schools up until the ages of about 14. Um, then, obviously, was my coach for two years. Um, so, I know him really well. I mean, it's not, as I said, there's nothing against Tony as a guy. He's done so much for this sport. Uh, the best British player by far uh, ever to be produced. And, uh, but, you know, as I said, when he's on the ice, he's a good player. My job as an agitator is to go and put him off his game. And, you know, I've done that a couple of times and uh, I've just got to keep doing that, hopefully. So. You seem to keep doing it. And, uh, and going back to your performances over recent weeks, the, uh, you know, you've been missing a couple of key guys in uh, Monet and, uh, and Lewis Christie as well. Great to see them back tonight. It was. It was nice. I mean, we, look, uh, we have the whiteboard in the changing room and to see all the numbers on the board for the first time in a few weeks is lovely. You know, it's, it's nice to have everyone there, and especially guys like Monier and Lewis, who are very key players in this team. Uh, hopefully we can get a couple of uh, two win weekends from now on, you know, because that's where we've been a bit up and down so far. And uh, it started well tonight, so hopefully we can go to Telford tomorrow and get another two points and get back on track. So. Yeah, that's going to be a tough road trip. And, and like I say, your recent form, uh, Mr Sims going back to him again, he's, he's claiming credit. Well, I know, and as I said before, I, his comments don't push me on anymore. I, I, I play the game as hard as I can every week. And uh, just now the, the pucks uh, go my way, so uh, you know hopefully it keeps going that way, and I can get more goals. So, going back to, it, I'm not going to harp on about Mr. Sims very often, but I, I did watch the Elite League show last night, and it yep. did seem that he got his uh, he's got got his Halloween mask on last night. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Grant, great game again tonight. Uh, great win, especially against the Phantoms yep. uh, at, at home. Uh, good luck on the road at Telford tomorrow. Thank you very much. And uh, keep scoring. I will do, I'll try. <laughs> Thank you. I think uh, having yourself and Lewis Christie out for you know, a number of weeks now, it's, it, it has uh, evidently disjointed the side to some extent, but having you guys back, and we've just spoken to um, Grant McPherson, so having you, it, it was nice to actually have everybody back and dressed tonight. Yes, I mean, no matter who, who's, who's, uh, who's not playing in those particular games, um, when, when the squads are as, as few as, as they are in this league, um, when there's guys missing, it's a huge impact on the team, and um, it's great to have everybody back. And I think both for me and and, and Lewis, we, we enjoyed being out there again, playing with the team. Um, and again, started to win again. That's 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 the, that's what we're focusing on now. So one thing I did notice as well, with, with both you know yourself and Lewis, um, you know right the way through the game, you didn't actually look as though you'd been out for that long. Yeah, no, um, it could be the first game when you kind of. You really have the passion, you want to play, but I'm um, let's see how it looks in a couple of weeks. So, so keep on working hard and training hard, that's, that's all, all what it is. Great stuff. And uh, this is the first time we've spoken to you this, this season. Um, yes. How does it feel to be back in Milton Keynes? Um, I mean, after winning last year, there wasn't no doubt um, that I wanted to come back and the team management wanted me back and some answers I'm back and I mean, the bits and bit pieces was there, so I mean, there was no doubt that I was going to sign here. And I told the management that well, before I start looking at other teams, um, I want to make a de decision with, with them if, yeah, should I stay or should I not stay, and then start to think about something else. But we made, we made a deal, and, and here I am back again. Well, the number 70 worship, one shirt was really, really popular last year, and everybody knows about the little Facebook prank that uh, your friend uh, mm -hmm. uh, Joe um, put on saying that you guys had signed for, for Manchester in the closed season. How many messages did you get from Milton Keynes fans about that? Um, I don't think I got a, not one single message, <laughs> to be honest. But we were sitting in, 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 in a boat this summer and um, we were just going out on, in, in back in Stockholm, me, Joe, and a couple of friends in Smaltz. And you know how Joe is. Um, he loves to pull out these pranks and, and I just kept laughing. So, I mean, not much you could. If I would tell him not to do it, he would have done it anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, he certainly is a bit of a prankster. Another guy that's loved by all the Milton Keynes faithful. Yeah. And one thing I did notice, you've, you've obviously been out for a few weeks. The cheer that went up when your name was mentioned when you, when you came in for the lineup tonight was absolutely unbelievable. Milton Keynes fans certainly love you. Uh, that's always good to know. Um, that makes me happy. Um, and I just keep on hoping that the team does well, the team performs well, and I keep on performing well as well. So just take it from here and try to do our best every game. And, and to, to all the fans out there, we're doing our best every game and, and trying to get back on top again. That's what we're here for and that's what we're trying to do. That's fantastic. I'm sure all the fans will be, you know, will love absolutely knowing that. OK, Monet, it's been great um, talking to you. Brilliant hat-trick tonight. Very well done. First game well, back. Once a year, once a year. <laughs> good, uh, good luck on the road trip tomorrow. Thank it's you so tough much. road trips to Telford. It is. It, I mean, we saw last week they played good, um, and so we know what it takes to win there tomorrow, and we just have to make it. it was, everything, all that counts is two points tomorrow. So we're ready for it, and we just start now preparing. Um, we enjoyed this win tonight. Um, for a couple of more hours and then we stop focusing on, focusing on tomorrow's game. That's so brilliant. Monet, thanks for talking to us. No worries. Thank so there you go, that's all for Lightning TV for this week. Next week's visitors are the Basingstoke Bison. That's going to be a tough game as well. Seven o'clock face-off down here at the Thunderdome.